Hey folks, I'm Pete and this is Pete's Eats Cooking Videos. Today, I have a real treat for you. We're making mac and cheese. Everybody's selling mac and cheese nowadays. You go out to a restaurant, it's a side, it's the main dish. The mac and cheese balls, you name it, all kinds of mac and cheese. But every time I've gone out, I've never had mac and cheese as good as the one I make. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. Right now, it's the wonderful comfort food. Let's begin. So here's the ingredients you're going to need to make this wonderful mac and cheese. You're going to need elbow macaroni. Today I'm going to do uh, 500 grams or about one pound of elbow macaroni. But of course you can scale it up as much as you want. Definitely cheese. I use uh, cheddar cheese. I like cheddar cheese the best. You can add some other cheeses in there to give it an interesting flavor. But the backbone I believe should be the cheddar cheese. You need onions. It's one of the secret ingredients that's going to make this absolutely delicious. You need butter flour, milk to make a bit of a roux, and we're going to spice it up with these uh, spices. We're going to use uh, some Dijon mustard, some white wine, I love cooking with white wine, herb and air, salt, pepper, a little bit of hot sauce. So also what you can do, I like to add some fried up breadcrumbs in butter and some bacon crisps on top. So you put it right on top, it comes out of the oven, it's absolutely delicious. These are optional ingredients, but it really, really takes it to the next level. The first thing you gotta do is boil up the water. I've got a pot coming up to a boil here, nice salted water. And that's what we're gonna put the macaroni in. And while that's coming up to a boil, I'm gonna dice some onions. If you wanna know how to dice an onion, watch my video. I got about five nice medium onions here, I'm gonna dice them up. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna to start to frying up the onions, and the key with the onions is you want to have them brown. Not transparent, you want them actually browned, nicely caramelized. And uh, I like to add the salt, so I'm gonna add about, oh, I don't know, a good teaspoon of salt to the onions. And I'm gonna also add a good tablespoon, maybe even two, of, uh, of butter in there. I'm gonna let that slowly come to a nice caramelized state. Now, this is something you have to watch. You can't let the onions burn or also have a really bitter taste. Having said that, you can't have them just transparent. You really want that nice brown caramelization that's gonna to add tons and tons of flavor to this dish. So this is one thing that you do have to watch. I like to put the pasta in the uh, cooking uh, dish before I put it in the boiling water just to check. And this is about half filled. Of course, they're gonna swell up in the water. So I think this is just about the right amount for this particular dish. Okay, the water is boiling nicely. So now I'm gonna add my pasta to the boiling water. And uh, you do want to make sure and give it a, a stir. You don't want them sticking to the bottom. And then you want to cook the pasta, uh, but you definitely, I'm not talking al dente, it's gotta be undercooked because it's still gonna go in the oven for at least a half hour. So, you know, if it says to cook it for eight minutes to al dente, you know, maybe around five or six minutes, I would take it out, okay? Now these onions are uh, definitely pa just past the uh, transparent stage and they're starting to brown. So we have to keep an eye on them, but uh, we're about halfway there. We want them right down, nicely, beautifully caramelized. Now these onions are just about there. They're beautifully golden brown. You could let it go a little bit longer, but uh, they're perfectly ready to go right now. I highly recommend you do this when no one's home because if anyone's home, they're gonna eat them all. You won't have Here's the macaroni and it has been uh, boiled. It's a little bit underdone. It's undercooked completely. I'm not al dente, this is undercooked. Now, they always say, don't rinse the pasta, don't rinse the pasta, don't rinse the pasta. Well, you know what I did? I had to rinse it because it's gonna sit here until all the other, uh, uh, the uh, roux and everything is done. And I don't want it con to continue and steam and cook because it'll just be mush. So I cooled it right down by rinsing it under nice cold water. Now it can sit, it can sit for an hour if need be while I get the other stuff ready. So now I've got the breadcrumbs in, uh, in a frying pan. I'm gonna put about a good two tablespoons of, uh, of butter in there. And I got on a fairly low-ish heat and I'm gonna fry these up so they get all nice and golden uh, brown with the butter. Okay, we're gonna make the roux that is gonna go on the mac and cheese. And the first thing we're gonna do is throw some butter in there. I got a, two uh, healthy uh, tablespoons of butter and we're gonna melt that down. And then to that uh, two tablespoons of butter, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of flour. That's uh, two tablespoons of flour. Now what we wanna do is we want to cook that flour in the butter. So you need to do that and be careful watching it. 
uh, for a couple minutes you want it just to boil up nicely. Well that's going nice now, bubbling up. I'm going to keep stirring it. Now as that's going I'm going to add some herb amer. I really like herb amer. It's a really lovely uh, spice. So about a table, half a teaspoon of herb amer. I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of pepper, a couple of squirts of Frank's Red Hot to give it a nice, nice warmth. Make sure and stir that nicely. I'm also going to add about a good uh, teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Now, I'm going to put about a half a cup of white wine. There you go. Stir that in. Let that boil off a bit. And then I'm going to add the milk. So about a cup and a half of milk. And I find that if you put a little bit of cream in, it really gives it a, a richer texture. So I'm going to put a little bit of cream. That's probably about a quarter cup of cream. Maybe not even, about an eighth a cup. And let's just boil this up till it gets nice and thick. So this will take about five minutes to nice high heat. But keep stirring. You don't want anything to burn on bottom here. I like the consistency of it, so I'm going to turn the heat off completely. And now I'm going to add the cheddar cheese. So I'm just going to add that cheddar cheese right in. It's one good handful, two, maybe even a third. And I use about the same amount of uh, cheese as the amount of pasta. So that's about a pound or 500 grams of cheese. I'm going to let that cheese just melt into that sauce. Okay, that's about ready. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, put the onions, the caramelized onions, into the uh, mac and cheese. So I'm mixing the onions in to the mac and cheese. Okay, now I need to put in the cheese root. And there we go. This is going to be so delicious. You are not going to believe how good this is. Personally, I like eating it with hot sauce. So here are the toppings. Of course, these are totally optional, but uh, here you go. This is what, how we like it with uh, cheese, a little bit of extra cheese melted on top. You can never have enough cheese. The breadcrumbs sprinkled on top and they'll soak up some of that roux as well. Okay, there's lots of breadcrumbs. And uh, so now I'll sprinkle that on top. And for those that are vegetarians and don't like bacon, you don't have to put it on. Okay, so now it's ready to go into the oven, 350 degrees, about a half hour or so. Keep an eye on it. So here you go, mac and cheese. And I'm not talking about tasty mac and cheese. I'm talking about wildly delicious mac and cheese. And I bet you, you have all the ingredients at home right now to go and make some. It's so easy, it's very economical, and it's delicious. Enjoy!